Every year something happens that I never thought of. It's too soon to feel happy, proud, sad, glad. I won't be relieved until I get to Seattle. That's when the season ends for me. It's the final. Oh, God. I don't understand why it hurts so much right here. Oh. What's wrong, sir? Nothing. We're doing your interview. I'm not dying, so just let that go. I'm going to let my family see that. You want me to see if the clinic's open? Oh my god. She's like a nut. She's like a nut. Oh. Sick. Honestly, if you have the chest. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know what it is. If the chest and left arm isn't good. I know, I know that. I'm saying left arm could just be a cramp. It could be bad sleep. It's right here. It's like a muscle thing. Right here. All the way up to here. Here, here, here. It's just a... Oh, my God. Sick, I think you should go to the clinic. What do you eat? Eat something. I can't. You'll feel better. I don't feel good. I know you don't. It's like a knife in my chest right here. Down to eat. Drink any water. I tried. for his brother's worsening condition. Edgar Hansen races to shore to arrange immediate medical attention. Uh. It's most likely a heart attack, but as of right now, we don't know. Edgar and Nick follow the EMTs as they transport Sig to the airport. Yeah, lay flat for a second here. You feel better, man. I'll take care of you. Okie doke. And now we'll just disconnect her from this cord. And they're going to take you down on each. So, what we're going to do is get you on our monitor, bring you down to the cath lab, and get you ready for this heart catheterization. A specialized test will determine if Sig has had a heart attack. Captain Sig's wife, Yuna, and daughters, Nina and Mandy, arrive from the lower 48 states. Should I go home? 
Yeah, I should have stayed for that last trip. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? Get you here faster. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if I interrupt? Yeah, yeah absolutely. So everybody's flown in. Oh, yep. I've got all the beauties in here. It sounds like it. I just wanted to go over what we found. So um, we did a what's called a ventriculogram, where we put a whole bunch of contrast and look at his heart function. Um, this whole wall is not working, and this one's not working. It's called a stress-induced heart failure, where a major stressful event or more stress than usual can cause heart failure. Troponin is how we measure heart attacks. And the way we get troponin in the blood is the cells die and they release their contents into the blood. So a little heart attack would be a troponin of 0.5 or 1. Um, his was 80. Yeah. A big, big bump in troponin. So you had a lot of heart damage. It could have killed you. You had the Widowmaker. You think so? Mm-hmm. With a I troponin of 80. It was a hit to the heart. This was a big one. This could have killed you. You're lucky. Yeah, it's been a couple days since we got the news. Uh, we're waiting for him to uh, to be able to get let out so we can get everyone home. Um, it was pretty devastating hearing it, getting the call. You never know when you're going to get that kind of call. It was a shocker. I didn't. Well, do you think about stuff like that could happen, but you don't think it's going to happen to you or somebody close to you, so it was awful. You never know it's the last time you're going to see your parents either. So being able to get that last trip and being able to see what my dad does and having him teach me uh, the ropes out there means a lot. I'm just more than thankful that he's still here, he's still alive. Uh, what he went through, went through those people pass away, so. Days aren't going to be the same ever again for him. Hello, girls. <laughs> uh, doctor said I was lucky because most people don't even get a chance to get to the hospital. It could have been a big, big one. It was a big one. And it's like, I know I have everything to live for. I mean, we've got anything a guy could want. Sure makes you think how precious life is, how fast it is. I mean, it's like that. You know, pretty lucky guy. Mm.